Dean, this New Zealand travel video is like everywhere right now. You're kayaking in it. You're on a, you're on a horse. <laughs> That's so cool. You're you're in a viral video, and there wasn't even any cats involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what are you doing right now, man? What's uh, what's going on with you? Uh, I'm in New, New Orleans. I'm just finishing up a film uh, this week, and then I'm heading back to LA for a few days. Is that the one that you play uh, Kirk Douglas in? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's called Trumbo. And can you comment on it yet, or, or no? Um, yeah, I can a little bit. I mean, it's um. It's uh, it's a it's a really fantastic job. I get I'm getting the chance to work with some people that, you know, I hold in very high regard. Um, there's like John Goodman's in it, uh, Brian Cranston, Helen Mirren. There's like it's really great actors, um, and I feel really uh, fortunate to have to work with these guys. Wow. Um, I can't talk too much about it yet because obviously the release date is not determined yet, and um, you know I'm sure there'll be there'll be publicity associated with it when I do it later on down the track. Now you playing um, you're playing the Kirk Douglas like you're a younger I, version of him. Yeah, I am. Yes, I am. So to get into a role like that, like what, what did you just watch a lot of his stuff and kind of try yeah. to get the voice down and, and the man and mannerisms? Yeah, well, and... That, that's 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 the, I can't really go too much into it at this moment just because, um, like I said, I got press coming up for it later in the year, and that's when I'm they'll probably want me to start talking about it. But um, yeah, needless to say, yeah, I am playing Kirk Douglas as in the Kirk Douglas from. Uh, Spartacus, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, very challenging role. Oh well, well, all the rest of my questions were about Kirk Douglas, so I don't, I got nothing. <laughs> I guess that's it. So. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, we're done. All right, all right man. Well, yeah, get on with your day. Uh, well, hey, <laughs> but we met uh, in the spring in uh, Calgary at the Calgary Comic Entertainment Expo. Yeah, man. I um, uh, I mean, uh, Calgary was the first time I have I did a convention in Canada, and uh, mm -hmm. I really. I really, uh, I really enjoyed it. Everyone was like, Canadians are so friendly. Hmm. Um, and then I got there, and I was like, yeah, Canadians are friendly. Like they're like, I think they're like the New Zealanders of the Northern Hemisphere. Um, <laughs> like they're like polite and nice and friendly, and they like a beer. The so see, I, I was just like, going to say that it's exactly the same. Yeah, and they even say a. You guys say it in a slightly different way to we say it, but we say a on the end of our sentences too. So I feel like maybe we're we're kindled, kindled, kindled. Get, kindred spirit. Yeah, it's like it's like those like alternate universes. You're like like New Zealand is like an alternate universe Canada. Sorry, mate. What was that? A really loud scooter just went past. <laughs> well, are you like actually yeah. on the street right now? Yeah, yeah. I'm just wandering up and down on some street in New Orleans. You gotta get some uh, crawfish and uh, some very spicy chicken. Yeah, yeah. Gumbo and jumbo. I had all that stuff, man. I mean, um, I love New Orleans. I love it down here. It's warm and it's relaxed. And the crew that I'm working with at the moment is really, really mellow. Uh, yeah, I really like it. I've been, I will have been here for a month by the time I finish. I've loved it. Have you ever thought about moving, like if you ever to leave home and come over here and live live in North America where you'd want to stay? Or are you, do you like it where you are right now? I like now? New Zealand. No, I like New Zealand. i got no real plans to, to move anywhere else. I don't know why I was expecting a different answer from you because you do the New Zealand tourism commercials. So, of course, that's what you're going to say. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, if you ever want to check out, you know, alternate universe New Zealand, uh, there's lots of places to explore in Canada. I would like to explore Canada. I went to the Toronto Film Festival a long time ago, um, but everyone, all, all these Canadians I met, keep telling me that Toronto is not Canada. It's like you know, when you're in an airport, you're not really in the country. You yeah, know, it's, a little, it's like its own yeah. little world. It's like the airport of Canada. <laughs> yeah, you gotta leave well, Toronto. Yeah, I mean, maybe you know, these these conventions are a really good way. I mean, personally, what I like about them is get a chance to sort of see um, all different parts of the world. Uh, you know, I mean, I've been to, over the last few years, I've seen, like, parts of Europe, um, America, North America, um, Australia, you know, so you really get around. England, uh, and I haven't been to England yet. Um, but, yeah, I'd love to I'd love to spend some more time in Canada, actually. I, I want to get some Sorrells. Is that a Canadian thing? It is, isn't it? The Sorrells, the winter boots? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Those are the big guys. Those are, like, the halfway up to your knee. Like, those are good for the for shoveling real g deep snow. Yeah, I think that's what I need to get. I mean, um, in New Zealand, a lot of people will have them because they're really good for our winters, and I, I'm going to get some. We got Sorrells, and then we got the the Canada Goose Jackets. That's another big thing here. A Goose Jacket? They're, like they're goose they're, well, they're called, yeah, they're, Canada, they're called Canada Goose Jackets. They're really expensive, and they're <laughs> lined with, like, yeah, goose down. They got the fur. They got, like, coyote fur on the collars. And... No, yeah, that sounds me. But, hey, before we go, I, I don't want to keep it. you got stuff to do. Uh, maybe we should talk about uh, the upcoming movie that you're in, Battle of the Five Armies. Yeah. So what can people be expecting for this last this last one? This is the one that wraps it all up. Now, you've obviously, have you seen the, yeah. the final version? No. I'm not really an authority on it yet. I have um, a few months ago, I did a little bit of an ADR, you know, some additional dialogue and things like that. Um, so I got to 
see some of the film, mm-hmm. um, but I haven't seen the film in its entirety, and I can't, and I don't think I will until it probably, you know, until the premieres. So, um, I really, I really wouldn't want to say, but I do know what we shot at the time, and I think that um, it's going to be. Uh, so I'm just walking past the something that's really loud. <laughs> there, loud. Yeah, I think the final film is going to be is going to be epic. You know, I mean, the Battle of the Five Armies, I think, and it's just going to, is on such a grand scale. Mm-hmm. Um, I really can't work together. I mean, I remember what I filmed, but, you know, you got to remember that when I was filming it, Peter would be explaining what was going to happen in the final cup. Did you read the books um, going into yeah, it? And did you, like, did, I did, yeah. yeah? I did. Do you think so far the, the films have done the book justice? I know you're you're in it and you're a part of it. You probably really can't knock it. In, in, in terms of the description of the film in The Hobbit, you know, it's very brief. Like a lot of things in The Hobbit books, mm-hmm. you know, um, they, they are mentioned, but only very briefly. Uh, so the movie is a good chance to flesh it out. And, um, yeah, I mean, I think... I think if you like the book, then you'll be you'll be really really happy with the film, and especially the the Battle of the Five Armies, because you know in the book Bilbo got knocked out, missed out missed out on a whole lot of the the battle. Um, yeah. So we get to see you know more of the battle this time around. Yeah, yeah I think it was. Um, in, but it, as to what specific as, yeah. as to the specifics of how it's all going to be put together, that is a mystery known only to Peter Jackson at this stage. All right, quickly before we go, I got to mention this to you. A couple of my friends on Facebook, uh, Alex and Bree, were, were, were going off about how good looking you are. They they've, they've seen you in the New Zealand tourism ad. How does it feel to to be like the heartthrob of the Hobbit? <laughs> Like a like version. You don't know. In like in Middle Earth, you would be like the the Justin Bieber. Your your pick your poster would be like on every girl's door. You you take that back. <laughs> you take that back. Um, I don't know, mate. That stuff that stuff all happens without me. That doesn't really have anything to do with me. I mean, I know what I look like first thing in the morning. Um, uh, you know, I, I yeah. I think sometimes those are just labels that get thrown around, and people can you know if they feel that way, that's great. Um, well, but I don't really think too much about on. it. I think you didn't. I think if I started thinking of myself as a particular way based on some of the press, then I, I'd end up being a bit of a douchebag. Mm-hmm. But for the record, though, they did. You must have talked to somebody in the makeup department because they gave you way less like ugly noses and chins than everyone else. Yeah, I was. Yeah, the Aiden and I, they wanted to keep our makeup to a minimum because they wanted to keep us young looking. See, someone, you know, someone had it. Retain, might... retain whatever our bone structure was. <laughs> they wanted to keep it. <laughs> Well, then I gotta I gotta let you go because this has been so long already. You okay, gotta mate. you gotta get going. But thank you so much for the time, and uh, I'm glad you're not a douchebag like you said. So that's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> yeah me too. Contrary to what you might have heard on the internet. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Enjoy your day, and Thanks, best mate. best luck with this film. I'm excited about. it. I've been reading lots about uh, Trumbo, and I yeah, me too. I'm excited about it. So I think it'll be I think it'll yeah, be one too. people are talking I, about. I wish I could say more of the stage, but um. Yeah, I need to, need, to keep, need to keep storm about it for a little bit more. All right, Dino Gorman, I appreciate the time, man. I know you're busy. You're, like, walking around downtown in the middle of filming this movie. So thank you so much for making the time for me today, buddy. Yeah, mate, no worries. All right, take care. We'll do this again soon. Thanks, Tanner. Speak soon.